Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update on what is happening across the Caribbean. And so in this video, we'll be taking a look at what is expected in terms of uh, the rainfall activity as well as another potential cooldown for some parts of the Caribbean. And we'll also be looking at some safety tips uh, just to reiterate them as we're in Earthquake Awareness Month, of course. And there was a recent earthquake in the Eastern Caribbean. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update okay and so let's go ahead and get straight into it and we're going to be starting out with of course this satellite imagery of the basin and we're seeing here that uh, that east to west pattern is definitely seen in terms of the wind direction uh, based on how those clouds are moving and so they might carry with them maybe a shower here or there but we're not seeing any thunderstorm activity at this time in the Caribbean, but we definitely have that pattern of uh, that all that moisture, all that activity coming from the uh, south moving to the northeast coming from South America and that is uh, resulting in some increased moisture across sections of the southeastern Caribbean and more specifically the Windward Islands so that could be inducing some shower activity in the region but for the rest of the basin we're not seeing anything significant happening at this time and so as we take a closer look at uh, the vicinity of the Windward Islands and parts of South America we definitely see see uh, where there is likely some shower activity taking place in some areas as a result of all of the increased moisture and so as we're going to be heading throughout this week uh, increased moisture across the Caribbean is anticipated so we're going to be taking a look at what the GFS model is expected in terms of the humidity and then we'll be looking at the simulated IR satellite and so let's go ahead and look at that humidity map right now and of course where we have the darker browns that is indicated more abundant dry air meanwhile the darker teals indicate more abundant moisture and it's where we would find more moisture so let's see what is expected by the model and so we're seeing that heading to Tuesday of this new week here we're seeing some of the teals in the vicinity of uh, parts of the Central and South Caribbean and then as we're going to be heading to Thursday uh, we see that there is a decrease in all that dry air cross sections of the Western Caribbean mainly along the coast of uh, Central America the Caribbean coast of Central America so we're seeing here that increased moisture is expected in the region which means that there's also going to be an increased chance of rainfall activity taking place and so as we're going to be heading to Friday though GFS is expecting that there is going to be a lot more increased moisture in the vicinity of the northwestern Caribbean where we have the Yucatan parts of Belize uh, and also going over to Cuba so uh, quite interesting here so a lot of increased rainfall expected as we're going to be heading to, uh, heading to the end of this week in parts of the northwestern Caribbean and so as we take a look at the simulated satellite so this is what the satellite could look like as we progress throughout the week so there we have the time of there and so we're seeing that there is quite a bit of increased activity expected across parts of the eastern caribbean and all that is drifting a bit to the west uh, as we head throughout this week head into friday and so this is likely to result in some increased rainfall across sections of the caribbean mainly the southeast caribbean inclusive of uh the, the abc islands and also so, uh, parts of Northern South America and Central America and then other areas such as Jamaica might see an increased chance of rainfall uh, also for parts of Hispaniola and Cuba but nothing intense or major is expected within the region and so for right now there is quite a bit of dry air that is in abundance as we take a look at this water vapor map and of course where we see those yellows oranges and shades of red that is where we have more abundant dry air uh, and the moisture is indicated by those whites and those greens so we see that we definitely have quite a bit of dry air across the region and of course as we're going to be progressing into the uh, next couple of months there is going to be a change in the pattern here because uh, there is going to be uh, that rainy season setting in for some areas inclusive of Jamaica so around April heading to May that is when we're going to be seeing a lot of increased moisture across the Caribbean and then June is the 
start of the hurricane season. Alright, and so guys, now let's go ahead and move on to that potential cool down across the region. And so we're looking at the GFS map here, and this is a temperature anomaly map, and uh, the blues indicate below normal temperatures. Meanwhile, the warmer colors, the yellows, oranges, reds, those indicate warmer than normal temperatures. And so as we're heading to the end of next week well this week really the 28th of the month on saturday we're seeing here that uh, we are seeing here that the GFS is anticipating that there is going to be some cooler than normal temperatures across the Eastern Caribbean and also uh, for the portions of the Northwestern Caribbean uh, and also Florida and the Bahamas where we're seeing those darker shades of blue but we're seeing some lighter shades across sections of the Eastern Caribbean so maybe one or two degrees Celsius below normal in terms of what is typical of the various areas guys so so, uh, an intense drop in temperature at this time isn't expected, but those cooler winds would likely be appreciated by many persons. And then as we look at what the euro is expecting, we're seeing something a little bit similar here. So as we head to, uh, well, Sunday, next Sunday, a week from now on the 29th of January, we're seeing all these spots of these blues, which is indicating those cooler than normal temperatures uh, that are expected, guys. But uh, before that, actually on Friday here we're seeing all this massive cool air across the Gulf of Mexico and uh, likely reaching the tip of the most northwesterly part of Cuba and also the Yucatan but uh, all that massive cool air is not likely to make its way down further into the Caribbean so let's see what's going to be happening guys and as I said earlier uh, there was that earthquake that took place it was on Friday so it happened uh, Friday morning just off the coast of Guadalupe and so it was a magnitude 6.2 which is quite intense but fortunately it was offshore and uh, let me know in the comments if you felt this earthquake if you were in Guadalupe or elsewhere in the eastern Caribbean and felt the shaking but uh, I can say for a fact that we, uh, we didn't feel anything here in Jamaica because of course we're very far from the uh, epicenter of that quake and so what to do during an earthquake this poster here covers uh, the actions that, that you should take to ensure that you keep yourself as safe as possible but of course the most important point to remember is to remain calm because the panic is what can help to result in a lot of unnecessary injuries or fatalities in the event of an earthquake so the best and number one tip to remember is to remain calm but of course it is important to remember all these other tips but uh, in being calm you are able to make the best decisions to protect yourself and the persons around you guys so please stay safe and of course i'm going to be keeping you updated on the tropics and so that is really it for now and if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be with us.